it is finally time because we finally got our Lowrance Active Target 2 in. Super excited to finally get this in my hands. If you've been watching the videos, you know I've been waiting about a month and a half to get this in. This is the newest one that Lowrance released last month. I'll be honest, I couldn't really wait, so I did get it installed in the kayak already. So I'm gonna walk you guys through kind of the way that I got it rigged out. One of the biggest things about my kayak is that I wanna be quick and efficient with it. If I don't need something, for that tournament day, I wanna be able to take it off real easy and that's how I rigged it up. I'll be walking through some of the key products that made this installation possible, such as a Sniper Marine Sniper Pool. I've done a little bit of research and in my opinion, this is the best setup for my situation. And if this interests you for your bill, stick around and let me walk you through the way I did it. Like I said, this is the Active Target 2 from Lowrance. This is a new one and improved. I will be pairing that with Elite FS9. This is pretty much their intermediate level graph. One of the things I added to this is a Burley Pro visor so that when it rains or if the sun is glaring in a certain direction, I still have full clarity of the screen. On my Hobie, I have this mounted utilizing two H-Rail mounting plates to a custom H-Rail that I built. This is different from any other H-Rail. This is actually from one of these H-Rails that I had cut down. The 21 inch rail that you typically buy from Hobie mounts to the plate right here. I actually got it longer and screwed it down to the existing track because I don't want to drill other holes if not necessary. Easily one of my favorite things about this build is a Sniper Marine Sniper Pole. This is the kayak model, so it has a little bit shorter shaft for your kayak. I've done a product walkthrough of this before, so feel free to check the previous previous video but one of the best things about it is that all you got to do is rotate this handle and that dial indicator rotates with it so that you know what direction your transducer is facing now I have this on the trailer right now so it's not perfectly straight but if that frame wasn't there this thing would be perfectly straight on this fishing specialties mount I got it mounted to a Hobie mounting plate one of the things that I had to do just because of the angle is add some rubber washers underneath so that it would actually stay true and straight one of the other key things about the sniper marine pool is that the wires run inside and is protected at all times even when this is rotating i mean the wires are kept safe there's nothing to get in the way nothing to get damaged if you get pinched in between a log or something i mean yeah you may have that but overall it is safe at all times like i said at the beginning the biggest thing about this is i want to be able to take everything on this kayak on and off if i have to I travel with this on the trailer and if I go to a grocery store, I don't want any of this laying around. So I just kind of have the wires running loose and running along the side of the hole. I have my existing through hole right here, which goes to my dedicated graph. I have it tucked away and it goes into my top rod holder. When you open the bin, it's pretty clean. All you have is just a battery. I'm running a 12 volt, 54 amp hour Dakota lithium. Have that strapped down. I mean, this thing is not going anywhere ran all my power wires right through to the battery. If you pull that bin out, you're left with how everything is mounted. So I drilled a little hole right there in the top of my rod tube, but it's very clean. You can't really see it. I've already tried putting a rod in it. It does not get caught in that hole. And that's where my transducer wire runs through. And honestly, it just lays on the bottom. I don't plan on zip tying this or anything because again, it's about being able to take this out and tuck this away in my truck whenever I need to. I mounted the active target box to a one objective plate. This is just the one I decided to go with. And of course I have my Yak Power panel. This panel allows me to turn this box on and off whenever I need to so that it doesn't drain my battery. Pretty much everything on the kayak is running to that panel right there. The thing about this is that if I want to take it off, I literally just run the wire back through and I can just pull everything off right then and there. By the way, ignore the mess in there. But basically I have in my Hobie bin this Yak Power controller. And if I press two and three, I can turn this on. And of course, if I wanted to press one, I can turn this graph on as well. But basically, go to Active Target, and obviously we're not in the water, but that's pretty much it right there. Overall, I think it's a pretty good setup. I mean, we still need to get on the water and make sure everything works properly. But honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that it was rigged out. And in my opinion, it's a pretty clean install as well. For those who are current subscribers, I did add foot control steering, as you probably saw throughout this video. 
did add that after the last trip out. I noticed that I could not turn left or right efficiently with the built-in rudder. So luckily I had that kit laying around and decided to install that. And just like last time in the next video, we're gonna be putting the kayak back in the water and making sure the new additions actually work. It's crazy to see how far this kayak build has come. I mean, I didn't think it would go to this extent, but I am a gear junkie and I love these type of things. I can never keep anything stock, so I will always try to do the most amount of things that I can. This is pretty much the end of the big additions for this kayak build. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I've spent a very few amount of time with front-facing sonar in my past, so I'm really excited to really get this on the water and try to dial it in myself and really see how I can utilize it to really make better decisions on the water. As always, I appreciate you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.